You've spent hours editing your video. The clips are perfect, the pacing is tight, but something is missing. You need a voiceover. Maybe you don't have a good microphone, or maybe you just don't love the sound of your own voice on camera. For years, this meant your video was stuck. But today, the problem is solved, and it won't cost you a thing to get started. In this video, I'm showing you how to use CapCut's powerful text-to-speech features. I will walk you through everything, from using the fantastic free voices to unlocking the hyper-realistic pro voices that can make your videos sound like a professional documentary. The difference is stunning, and I'll show you how you can try them all for yourself. Before we get started, I want to make sure you get the best deal possible. The first link in the description below is special. It does two things for you. First, it unlocks a free trial of CapCut Pro, letting you use all of the premium voices right now in this tutorial. Second, it automatically guarantees you an exclusive discount if you decide to keep it. This is a special price just for viewers of this channel that you won't find on their main website. So pause the video now and click the link to activate everything. It only takes 30 seconds. All set? Awesome. Let's dive in. All right, let's start with a new project open in CapCut. You're looking at the empty video timeline. Before we can create any audio, we first need to give the AI something to read. So the first step is to add a text box. Look for the main toolbar. On the mobile app, you'll see a text icon, usually with a capital T. On the desktop version, it's in a similar spot on the top left panel. Go ahead and click on that. Now select Add Text. You should see a default text box appear on your video preview. You'll also see a new clip for that text show up in your timeline. You can drag the ends of this clip to make the text stay on the screen longer or shorter. For a simple voiceover, a few seconds is just fine. Now click inside the text box where it says default text. Let's type out our first sentence, something simple like, this is my first AI voiceover. This is the most important step. The words you type here are exactly what the AI is gonna say. Once your text is on the timeline, you're ready to bring it to life. With your text clip selected in the timeline, look at your tool options in the upper right. You should see a button that says text to speech. On the desktop app, this will be in the top right panel. On mobile, it's usually in the toolbar at the bottom. Go ahead and tap on that. This opens up the entire voice library. It can be a little overwhelming at first with tabs like trending, English, and more. Let's start with some of the more popular free voices. Under the female tab, you will find voices like Jessie. She is one of the most used voices on all of TikTok. You'll also see Chill Girl who has a very calm and relaxed tone. Just tap on any voice and you'll hear a preview of it reading your text. But you'll also notice that many voices have a purple pro tag on them. This is where the magic happens. If you use the link in the description to start your free pro trial, these are all unlocked for you. Let's quickly hear the difference. First, here's our sentence with free Jesse voice. This is my first AI voice over. Sounds good and very clear. Now let's listen to that same line with a pro voice. This is my first AI voiceover. You can immediately hear that the pro voices have more depth and realism. That's why I recommend the trial, so you can test this out for yourself. The free voices are great for most projects, but if you want the truly premium polished sound, the pro plan is the secret. Once you've found a voice you're happy with, applying it is incredibly simple. Just make sure the voice is selected. Then look for the check mark or generate button at the bottom of the voiceover library. Go ahead and click on that. CapCut will take a moment to process, then a new audio clip will appear in your timeline, right beneath your text clip. And that's it. 
you've officially created your AI voiceover. You can press play to hear it in your video. But what if the pacing doesn't feel quite right? Let's say the voice sounds a little too slow for your fast paced edit. No problem. Once you hit that generate button, look in the upper right panel. You should see basic, voice changer, and speed. Speed is what you'll use most often. By default, it's at one times, which is a normal speaking pace. Let's hear our sample line at one times speed. This is my first AI voiceover. Now let's speed it up to 1.3 times. This is my first AI voiceover. It's a simple change that makes a huge difference. The voice changer changes how the voice sounds. You can get some pretty funny results by playing with this, but for most professional sounding voiceovers, you'll want to leave the voice as it is. Getting the speed just right is the key to a polished video. But what do you do when your script is longer than just one or two sentences? Let's cover the most common problem you're going to run into. So you try to paste your entire video script into a single text box. You immediately get an error message. This is by far the biggest frustration new users have. CapCut has a character limit usually around 500 characters per text box. This means you simply cannot generate a long voiceover all at once. But the workaround is incredibly easy once you know the secret. You just have to break the script down into smaller chunks. Here's the best way to do it. First, create a text box and paste in only your first paragraph. Generate the AI voiceover for that paragraph. You'll see the audio clip appear in your timeline. Now, add a new text box to your timeline. Drag it so it begins right where the first audio clip ends. In this second box, paste your second paragraph. Generate the voice for that part. You just repeat this process for your entire script. You'll have a chain of separate audio clips, one for each paragraph. The key is making it sound like one seamless narration is to zoom in to your timeline. Make sure each audio clip starts the exact moment the previous one ends. There should be no empty gaps between them. If you line them up perfectly, the pacing will sound completely natural. It's one extra step, but it's the simple secret to creating a full video narration right inside CapCut. And there you have it. You now have everything you need to create incredible AI voiceovers for your videos. You can find the entire library of voices, you can customize their speed and how they sound, and you now know the secret to handling long scripts like a pro. You are officially ready to create unlimited professional sounding narrations. If you were just watching and now feel ready to jump in, the first link in the description is waiting for you. It's the best way to start your free trial of CapCut Pro and test those premium voices we listened to earlier. Thank you so much for watching. Now go and create something amazing.